Well, hey YouTube, so today guys, we're back here with another review, and today we have the review here. So this is the John Souls Food uh, Fully Cooked Chicken Breast Strips with Rib Beat. This is grilled, this is the uh, grilled variant, this is the uh, family size here, and we're going to be opening this up and doing a review here. So guys, I do apologize for making so many food reviews recently. It's just that, because of the Chinese New Year, all my technology companies I work with, they're simply not available, so I'll be compromising. Because I, I, I like making review videos. I do want to make that a consistent thing on this channel. So during this time, I've just been doing a lot of food. So don't worry, I'll go back to tech pretty soon. So here's the bag here. Uh, here's the inside here. So I'm going to go put this stuff in the microwave. You can put this in the freezer here or the, or the refrigerator. So you have both options available to you. So I did I decided to, uh, to freeze it here. So you have pre preparation instructions here on the back here. I'm going to put this stuff in the microwave. It says microwave three to four minutes, oven seven to ten minutes, skillet four to six minutes. They say that's the uh, recommended method, but I'm going to be putting this in the microwave because, yeah, I am. So it has 18 grams of protein per serving. There's about five servings, so you're getting, I mean, you're getting, you're getting over 100% of the protein you need in a daily basis in just this package here. I'm going to probably eat all of this at once, so I'm going to be getting a lot of protein, guys. And because I'm frail. I could use that protein. I have a dumbbell up here. I'm going to lift it after I eat. So, yeah, I'm trying to get bigger. So, this is gluten-free. It's dairy-free. It's celiac, wheat-free. I mean, this this thing is really everything, you know, if you can see that. There's no, there's no dairy. There's no wheat. I mean, there's no anything, but it's just chicken, man. Poultry is very, very, very safe to eat, even with people with allergies and stuff in that nature. So, I mean, sodium is a little bit high, 490 milligrams. Only, only one gram of sugar. That's low. Uh, that's the way I like it, man. I don't want a lot of sugar in my food because sugar is very bad for you. It causes uh, inflammation around the body. So, yeah. So, we're going to put this in the microwave, guys. I'm going to heat it up. I'm going to bring it back to you as soon as we're done with that process. See you guys in a sec. Okay, guys. We're back here. I just put this thing in the microwave for about four minutes here. So, here's a good look here at the chicken now that it's been completed here. So, I'm going to take a little piece out of here. And... Let's give it a shot. Let's see how this thing tastes. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, guys. So, remember, guys, when you're eating something that's a frozen, right? Especially frozen chicken. You're not, I'm not expecting restaurant-quality chicken. You know what I'm saying? So... As long as your expectations are reasonable, then you're definitely going to be happy here. Is this perfect? No. The texture is a little mushy for me. But even though the texture is bad, it tastes very good. It tastes as as good as frozen chicken can get. I mean, really. It tastes good. You know, definitely on the softer side. I guess if you, you put it in longer than four minutes, maybe it would be more tender. But the instructions say four minutes, so I put it in for four minutes, you know. And yeah, I mean, it's good. I like it a lot. Mm. Tastes good. It looks good too. I mean, look at it. I mean, I mean, it looks like chicken, you know? Just the texture could be a little bit better. That's all I'm going to say. That's the only thing I don't like. Texture is a little too mushy. But overall, I mean, it's really good. And like, when it comes to chicken, guys, when it comes to grilled chicken, there's some types of grilled chicken that work better with tomato sauce, right? And there's some that look better with uh, ketchup, right? And this is more of a tomato sauce like chicken because it's more of a higher quality taste, you know what I'm saying? The cheaper grilled chicken usually works better with ketchup, right? The more expensive one, the premium one works better with tomato sauce. This is more of a tomato sauce chicken here. Um, I do have ketchup here, so I'm going to try it with ketchup, but I do say this is more of that tomato sauce pasta like chicken than the uh, fast food. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like chicken, you know what I'm saying? You, know, you understand, right? So... Put some on here. It's good. It's good, but obviously, it's not meant for ketchup. This is definitely tomato sauce chicken, which is great. That's the better chicken. That's usually the higher quality chicken, in my opinion, you know? So, yeah. Overall, guys, I mean, overall, if you wanted, if you wanted me to give you the rating, 1 out of 10, right? I, I, I would give it an 8. I would give it an 8, because it's not perfect. 
But it, it, it's just good. It just tastes good, man. That's pretty all I can ask for, right? So overall, if you do want to purchase this thing, Amazon link will be down below. Make sure you guys subscribe and like for daily news and reviews. And if you want to support me, Binance referral link is down below. It's a crypto exchange, right? And my Ethereum address is down below. There's over a thousand different ERC20 tokens. Send me anything you want on there. It supports me. I, I don't do any of the Patreon bullshit or the, or the PayPal shit. For me, none of that stuff works. But crypto, you know, we'll find out if that works, you know. We really do hope you guys enjoy that video. Thank you, bye.